Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel. It's been a long time since I've done a patchwork video, but I like the bell sound that I've created on Project 12 so much that I thought I'd share with you how I created it. Let's start by having a listen to the bell sound itself. I think uh, you can agree that's a, a fairly credible bell. The modules involved in this is that, that, that's quite straightforward. I've got a dual VCO, which is two square wave VCOs. Um, we'll have a listen to, we'll break it down and have a listen to it in a moment. Um, but the output from the VCOs goes through a diode ladder VCF the CV control for the diode ladder VCF is coming from a looping attack release envelope. I have a, a second looping attack release envelope here which is providing the CV input to my Octivator which is a multiple octave divider and then the output from that is going into the CV input on the dual VCO. Now it's switched such that that one CV signal feeds both VCOs and both oscillators and the output of both oscillators is, is joined together so I only need to take the one output to the filter. Then the output from the filter itself goes to the mixer. Now at the moment to get the bell sound I only have switched in the looping envelope that's controlling the CV on the filter. Right, let's break it down a little bit more. If I take that out of there, let's just listen to what's actually coming out of the dual VCO. So it's essentially a two oscillator drone. And then if I take the output back, switch the envelope off. So I'm now taking the output from the VCO was going through the filter. So the cutoff and the resonance on the filter are down at about probably quarter turn, 25%. I mean, if I can bring the cutoff up. So there's, it's not completely cut out the, uh, the whole of the frequency range of the droning VCOs. So, when I switch in the looping envelope to control the CV, on, which is controlling the cutoff on the uh, VCF, I've got a, a sharp attack and just over halfway on the release. If I want to more sustain on the bell, I just turn up the release. more dry bell turn down the release but because it's re-triggering at the end of the release you also get a faster rate of chime so you kind of it's like where you want the chime to be I mean if I turn up the attack lost the striker.
what happens if I turn up the resonance on the filter. I suppose you could call that space bell. So where does the activator come in? Why have I got that there? Well, if I use the other envelope as a looping envelope to feed a sweeping CV signal into the activator, it will chop that up into a series of uh, square wave pulses of different frequencies. So it will now start to pretty much sequence the VCOs. So let's try that. So you get kind of a, a real warped bell. I can change the release. Changes the synchronization between the two. A really short release. Wobbly bell. Change the type. Yeah, drunken bell. the bell sound. But it's slightly higher in pitch now because it's retained some of the control voltage from the activator. And there we go, we're back down in pitch again. Well, yeah. Ring those bells. You may not have exactly the same, in fact I doubt you have exactly the same modules in your synth as I've got, but for the basic bell without all the fancy whistles, hey, bells and whistles, um, then yeah, I've just used a couple of square wave VCOs, uh, a filter, and a looping envelope. So, yeah. Go on, have a go. Create your own belt.